Hi guys, I wanted to show you how to make a very easy and delicious recipe for Mexican lasagna. This recipe can be changed quite a bit to meet your uh, preferences or your family's preferences. I'm going to show you um, everything that I use to make it and then I'll just give you some ideas for changing it a little bit um, if you want to use um, chicken instead of beef, if you want to use um, flour tortillas instead of corn tortillas, you can really play with this recipe and it's so easy and um, cooks in the slow cooker so you don't, once you assemble it, you don't really have to do anything else. So I'm going to get started and show you everything that you'll need to make it. You'll need one pound of ground beef. Like I mentioned, you can also use chicken and you can actually um, make this without any meat if you prefer. You'll need some tortillas. I'm using corn. Um, you can use flour or some gluten-free um, tortillas if you need to. You'll need some cheese. I have some pepper jack shredded cheese and some cheddar cheese. You can use Colby Jack. You could just use one cheese, whichever um, you like. I have about a cup and a half of the pepper jack cheese and about a cup of the cheddar cheese. It's just what I had on hand. So you'll probably need um, like two to three cups of shredded cheese. You'll need um, about a cup of chopped onion. You'll need some black beans. You can also use refried beans if you would like. Um, my family prefers black beans, so we're going to use black beans. And then you'll need a can of diced tomatoes and green chili. These are fire roasted, but you can definitely just use um, chopped tomatoes and green chilies. If you don't have a can with um, chopped tomatoes and green chilies. You can use just a can of diced tomatoes and then a can of green chilies. It doesn't really matter. This is just a really easy um, recipe to change up for whatever you have on hand. And then you'll need some taco seasoning to season your ground beef. The first thing you'll want to do is brown your ground beef and onion and once it's brown you'll want to drain that. Once you've cooked and drained your ground beef, you're going to add your taco seasoning. You can use um, about a packet, um, or if you make your own, probably like a quarter of a cup. And I will link the recipe that I use to make taco seasoning in the description box. And then you're also going to add your tomatoes and green chilies. And then you'll want to uh, drain your black beans first and add those. And then you can just mix it all together and then you'll be ready to assemble your Mexican lasagna. Okay, to assemble your Mexican lasagna, first you're going to want to spray your slow cooker really well with olive oil spray or cooking spray, whatever you like to use because you definitely don't want your lasagna to stick to your slow cooker. And what you're going to do is first add about a third of the uh, ground beef mixture Next, you're going to add your tortillas, and you can always tear them if they don't fit, um, but you just want to make sure that you get it all the way to the side. So I just used two corn tortillas and then just tore a little bit off of one to kind of fill in the gaps there. And every slow cooker is different. Mine is like a oval shape, so if you have a round one, it might be easier. Um, and if you're using a flour tortilla, it kind of depends on the size of them. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just <clears throat> want to make sure that you get your tortilla all the way around so that when you cut it into wedges, it'll, um, you know, just have a nice layered look and everything will stay together. Next, you're going to add your cheeses and you'll probably want to do like a third of each kind right on top. And this recipe, it doesn't have to be like exactly perfect. You don't have to measure out a third of your ground beef or a third of your cheese or anything. Um, it'll all be in there eventually and taste really delicious. So your next um, thing that you'll add is your ground beef and then you'll do your tortillas and then your cheese again and you'll want to end with the um, ground beef mixture and then um, the cheese on top. So it's all set and you're just going to cover your slow cooker and cook it on low for three to four hours. If you are using a larger slow cooker, it might take 
a little longer so you'll just want to check it but everything is pretty much cooked so it really just has to heat through and the cheese has to melt so um yeah three to four hours on low should be enough time and it's delicious and as you can see really easy to make this is what your Mexican lasagna will look like once it's cooked for about three or four hours on low. I let mine cook for four hours, so it smells delicious. And then you're just going to cut it into wedges. I'm not sure if um, the camera is picking up where I cut my Mexican lasagna, but I basically just cut it in half here and half here, and then just in wedges, just like you would cut a pizza. And so I have eight wedges.